This is what if Asta had more control of anti-magic, part three. And this is where Magma and Yami goes out to do the little bet and everything. They lose, of course. They come back and all that. And what happens is Asta and Noel have to go on it. Magma says I'll fly and stuff, but like Asta says that I can fly with my wing pretty far and fast. And because mine doesn't actually doesn't work like I run out of mana or anything, feels like I get an infinite supply from the demon pretty much. It doesn't say demon, but from my grimoire. So like, yeah, so he says I'll just carry you. Um what's her name? Noel. And she's like, no, I'm fine. Then he says, does anybody have some kind of like carrying spell? I want to say like one of them do. I don't know who. I want to say um, Eater Girl, that girl does have one, but it's like that. And he like remakes it out anti-magic. And they're like, Okay, now well, then we can jump on. Once they jump on, they can't use the magic, so it's kind of like a capture and travel spell. So they feel drained half the way. But honestly, it also has a downside if somebody gets off of it. It kind of seals their magic away, building up the magic as they go. So honestly, they have, once they get there, they have twice their magic that they normally had and they're like wow this is amazing what if we have a, like a long mission and like we need more magic and we just store magic and stuff he says yeah so they get there boss is not tired because he doesn't get tired from using demon magic and I'll say that he does get tired, but that's only when he uses like physical work and all that, but that wasn't physical or anything. So honestly, he was full of power and stuff. And all that. And he's like, oh, I just found out a new move. He says, anti-magic cloud. Um cloud trap or sticky cloud trap I'm gonna see this sticks up all the boards and everything but Asta Divine cuts them in half I think I'm gonna say because they're at full power I'm gonna say the well is trying to troll because anti-magic is kind of like magic Asta has like pretty good control over it so I'm gonna say, like all my other ones, I make Noelle can control the magic a little bit. So she actually can shoot water balls right now. And I'm gonna say she has one serpent. I think it is. Magic water serpent. So she's trying to use more than just one of them at once. I'm gonna see she gets up to two sometimes. But that's only sometimes. And so... They notice that the frog's there. So it also um, does that little shield thing. Pushing his way through. It doesn't have to chop the air like every five seconds and everything. And they go on. They get in. And because they're so much quicker, I'm going to say that the dude is not dead right now. He's about to die, but I'm going to say also shoots the uh, anti-magic ball. Dispersing all of them in like a big bang. No, he does spread shot hitting all of them. Hitting like ten of them, causing this chain reaction, hitting the rest of them. And everything. They're like, you're wait, the main guy's like, you're making us off schedule. Says... Whatever your schedule, I'm here to save these people as a magic knight. 
and stuff. So, all the people are there, and Oss is defending them as Magma is too, and she's like, I'm being useless. And she does her little um, defense spell, and also jumps. He doesn't jump in because he says because his anti magic will just take it down. So he's outside defending it from big attacks while dodging small attacks. But he's like running around, and I'm saying magma is also outside because he's at like 200 percent his power. So he says, baptism by fire soon. Also, like, going around and, like, hitting it back and stuff. Um, he just creates a... What's it called again? He creates, like, a, one of those... Def his, like, shield version of everything. Where the attacks are supposed to go. Bouncing them off. Hitting them back at, like, twice the speed and everything. And all that, and this takes them down because they can't tell where he's just gonna bounce it back or if he's even gonna s stop them in front of him, f send it towards them while they dodge and get hit from behind by like four of them at a time. And he mixes in, mix in his um, anti magic spread shot. And everything taking them down. So whenever they're before the Duke can activate that suicide magic thing, um, Asta covers them in anti magic cloud um, magic, trapping them. Can't use the magic. They can't move or anything. And he tells Mama to release the fire. They think they can just jump off, but they're stuck in it in a black cloud. And everything. Instead of saying cloud, I'm gonna say it's anti magic black cloud magic and stuff. They get back. They congratulated and all that. They get one star making them negative thirty one. Or was it in the hundreds? I'm not sure. But they went up a point and went down a point in negatives and everything so yeah then they go on he's gonna send all his money back to the village and, or the church and they're like no nah, no nah, we don't need it or anything he said or Vanessa says to keep a little for himself and he does probably only enough to buy food or like just one meal probably that's how much he probably kept and all that. So whenever he's up there, I'm gonna say um the two noble friends are up there because they like plan to get together. They see Asta and they're like, Hey Asta, there you are and they ask why did you pick the black bulls? He said because I could cop I could get magic from the captain or like Mimic his magic from the captain with my anti magic, and they say, Yeah. And he asked, Did you find any moves? And he says, Yeah, actually, I got moved from this dude called um, Magma. And he, they show off the moves, and he, and he says that he also learns um, how to create a shield. And he shows them the cloud magic, or he says, and he says, Anti. Wait, anti fire it's kind of like coffee magic because they like mimic how the thing looks so it's kind of like the fire magic it like catches stuff on anti magic like black flames but it's anti black flames so he just puts black after, he puts anti and black flames after it so they're like so maybe I should make this as what if Asta had anti-copy magic. Yeah, that's going to be the new title of the thing. So, it can only copy whatever 
his anti-magic touches. So the dude with the crystal magic, he says, he never knew this, but because he was smarter and he knows about grimoires, yeah, that's what it's going to be titled, but it tells them what type of magic they have in the front of the grimoire. And he's like, and you read it, it says anti-copy, anti-copy magic. So, yeah. He only copies certain magic he comes into contact with. Only the spell, though. And stuff, so... So he's like, can you copy my crystal magic then? He says, show me one of your spells. He can't use spells that are not used by the Grimoires, I'm gonna say. So if somebody's not using the Grimoire or fighting him, they can't copy the dude's magic. That's why he never copied... He knows magic whenever he... And he can't copy magic but the sword. Also, I forgot to tell you that. It has to be like the actual energy hitting the other magic. So that's why I'm going to say during the battle whenever he shot the energy hitting the dude. Bronze magic, he get anti-black bronze magic in his grimoire. And they see two spells appear whenever he did that, just to tell you that. So he goes on, he says to do, they get recommended for the dungeon, and this is where I'm going to leave it off.